Oh, good Lord. Welcome, everybody, to Thursday's Reptile News. God, it's been such a long week. Now, we're going to start off today in Indonesia. And, and those of you that know me, you know that I'm not one to slam other people's culture. But I just, I had this link sent to me, and it was just, it was about a snake slaughterhouse. And it kind of sounded bad, so I figured, let's go check this out. And it's a whole, uh, it, 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 it's uh, pictures from a, a photographer that got inside a snake skinning factory in Indonesia. And there's a lot of things that bother me about these pictures. And, and I'm going to tell you right now, if you're super sensitive to this kind of stuff, please don't look at that particular link. Um, it's pretty bad. It doesn't show any animals getting killed. It, it shows the skinning process after they're killed. But I just look at some of these pictures, it looks like there's hundreds if not thousands of snakes piled up on the floor. And I totally understand the other cultures and the, uh, the medicinal beliefs for these animals. And they do mention that in one of the pictures that they believe they can cure skin diseases and asthma and stuff. But then at the same time, they also talk about making handbags and belts. So anyway, I just wanted to throw that one out there. It's not really news. It's just more of kind of, uh, you know, these places are out there and not as if you didn't already know that. And let's move on. Let's talk about the ball python world for a minute. Again, another link I found in my inbox, um, a $16,000 ball python. Uh, apparently it's called a panda piebald and I, I don't, you know, I don't, I haven't, I've really been out of the loop lately as far as morphs go and stuff. It's not really my area of interest too much. I have a little interest in it, but mostly I like the native species, the the natural looks to, to a lot of these animals out there. But this snake just took my breath away. And you guys got to check the link out. You got to check out the pictures. This snake's being sold for for, like I said, $16,000, and thank God it includes shipping. It's being sold by East Coast Reptile Breeders, who says that it's taken about seven years of hard work to produce this $16,000 female. And let's move on to Florida, to a story that I'm not too sure about the outcome for. Apparently, it's been reported that the Center for Biological Diversity has filed an intent to sue the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to uh, add a sparrow and a ground skink to the Endangered Species Act. They say that rising seawaters are causing big issues for not, not only just these animals, but a lot of animals. Apparently the skink only lives in uh, low-lying areas down by the Keys, and the sparrow, I mean, it's a bird, this is reptile news, I know, but the sparrow lives in marshland down by the water, and the rising sea levels are uh, causing big issues for them. And they're saying that uh, this century, the levels due to global warming apparently are supposed to rise three to six feet. So that's obviously going to do something crazy for these animals. Now, what I don't quite understand about this story is what good it's going to do adding something to the Endangered Species Act. I mean, there's a lot of... Uh, I mean, there's a lot of controversy on the whole global warming story. I know people that believe it. I know people that don't believe it. But it's not like any, everybody's going to hang up their car keys tomorrow. It's not like we're going to find renewable energy or at least anything that's too sustainable and affordable to, to the average person because then that would put just too many corporate entities out of business. So it's just not going to happen. So I don't understand 100% what the Center for Biological Diversity's action plan is here. I don't know if, if they're just trying to get rid of gas engines or something by adding these animals to the endangered species list. Don't know what it is, don't have any idea what good they plan it's going to do, but it's going to be really interesting to see in the future. And now I want to talk about something a little bit different. Now I get like several hundred to several thousand, depending on how I title it and what thumbnail I use, uh, views per video. And I got a big question for you guys and I really want as many answers as I can get to have the most options possible. I'm going to be in the market for a new reptile soon. I don't know if I'm looking for a lizard or for a snake or something, but I'm looking for something that's just different. I, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know. And I got a lot of research to do. And I basically what I want is I want your guys' recommendations, uh, stuff I can go look at, check out, see if it kind of uh, sets anything off so I can start reading about it. So leave a text comment or better yet, even a video response. And that, my friends, has been all your news for this Thursday. If you'd like to read any more about these stories, that link's right down below here in the description. And as always, if you're still watching, my name is Jason White. Now you know what's going on in the reptile world. Be good to each other. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you Monday.